Hey guys, I'm Matt Gilman with Influence Music. I just wanna take a couple minutes here and just lead you through a time of devotion and um, reflection before the Lord um, around the song over and over. Um, as we were writing the song, uh, it was it was something impressed in our hearts to just really go after the beauty of God in creation. And I was struck with the words of Psalm 19, where it says, the heavens declare the glory of God. Day unto day utter speech, night unto night reveals knowledge. Um, and, and I love that description of creation. Uh, it's, you know, when you think about it from the very beginning, God had a blank canvas to begin with and he designed it in a very intentional and specific way so that when we look at the works of creation, as we look at the sky, as we look at the trees and the land and the ocean and the waves and everything around us, um, I'm reminded of Romans 1 where it says, the invisible attributes of God are actually clearly seen in the works of creation. It actually says that we are, as men, as human beings, we're without excuse. Um, if we don't worship God, we're without excuse because whether we've experienced or known about Him before, if we just look around creation, He's so visible. Everything about Him is so apparent and real in creation so that all men are without excuse. And, and I always like to think of, it's one of my favorite verses in all of Scripture, it's Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, where it's, it's talking about the, the 24 elders um, in the throne room scene, and this beautiful description of the throne room where it says God is sitting on a throne, and he's like a diamond, and he's like fire, and there's a rainbow, and there's seven torches, and there's a sea of glass mingled with fire, and it says he's he's exuding lightning and power and thunder and there's voices that proceed from his throne and we all know the song of the four living creatures holy 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 lord god almighty who was and is and is to come they sing that over and over again and it says whenever the creatures sing their song it creates a response in the hearts of the 24 elders and they sing their own song they say god you're worthy to receive glory and honor and power because it's by your will that you created us. It's for your pleasure that we exist and we're created. And so it is our highest calling as human beings walking on planet Earth right now, it is our highest calling to give God glory and to give Him pleasure. The reason you're breathing right now is simply so that you can look at God and bring pleasure to his heart. In Song of Solomon, it says every single glance that you give him, every single movement of your will, it totally ravishes his heart and undoes him. And so um, as we sing this song over and over, as we just lift up those high praises to God, I just want to encourage you, that is your highest calling. It's what you were made to do. It's why you're here. It's why you're alive right now, to give God glory over and over and over and over. So be encouraged uh, and just uh, enter into the presence of God as you sing this song.